Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set on seating arrangement, a simple one. It says that there are 14 persons, they are sitting in two parallel rows and such that persons in each row facing each other. Okay. And uh, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V sit in row 1 and face south. Right. And A, B, C, D, E, F, G are sitting in the second row and are facing north. So, 7 people facing south, 7 people facing north. One person sitting opposite to each other. Okay, and these are some information given to us. And if you can see that uh, one of the questions is how many arrangements are possible and which of the following statements would help uh, determine one unique arrangement. So that means there are multiple possibilities in this question. Okay, so uh, let's start with the solution. So first thing in arrangement is we should look for some fixed position. But no such fixed position, if you see the statements, no such fixed position is given to us that this person is sitting at an end or something. So now it is an open ended problem. Okay. So then we can start with some uh, link, right? If you went, have to find some link. So G and F is opposite to Q, then R is sitting second to the right of Q. So we some find some link. Okay. G, F, Q, and B, and G. So it's a link that we can see. Okay, so let us start with these link things. So, uh, three person sitting between G and F who is opposite to Q. So, F is opposite to Q. Okay, so F is sitting here. Q is sitting opposite. Okay, and now it says that there are three persons between G and F. Now, three persons could be this side. One, two, three. And uh, then we could have G here. Okay. Or it is also possible that we have three persons on the other side. Okay, so let us make it somewhere in the center so that we can extend on both sides. So let us say this is F and opposite to F we are given that Q is sitting. Okay, so let us say three people here and then G. And let us take another scenario wherein F is sitting here. Okay, three people and then G and opposite to F is Q. Okay. Now we are also given that one link is this. Second link is between Q and R. R is sitting second to the right of Q. Okay. So R is sitting one, two. This is R. And in this scenario, R is sitting this side. Okay. All right. Now it further says that uh, one person is sitting between B and G. Okay. So we have another element that is linking. B and G. And uh, if you take this case, so we can have one person and then B. Okay. And if you consider this case, one, two, let us say if you put B here, there is a statement says thing T is sitting opposite to B. So this is not possible. So B will sit here only. Okay. And opposite to B, it is T. Okay. So this is one case. Now in this case, if I take B this side, Suppose I take B this side. So now if you see 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is the ninth person. Hence B this side is not possible. So B will be sitting here. And opposite to B we have T. So we have automatically placed T also along with B. So we are getting just two cases as of now. Okay. Now let us fill more information. Okay. Now. Uh, we have that uh, E is sitting second to the left of A who is not sitting adjacent to F, right? E is second to the left of A and A is not adjacent to F. So A cannot sit here. If I put A here, E is not possible. So only possibility is A and E. Similarly, in this case, we will have A and E like this. That is the only possibility of placing these two people okay so we place this also now we are left with u is sitting opposite to d so there is only one possibility in this case like this and in this case also d and u so we have filled all these people let us find one is missing a b c is missing e is missing so this row is filled okay now let us see what else is remaining s is sitting to the immediate right of v so in this case we will have B, S, and one person is missing that is P. Okay. 
Now in this scenario, now this is the last statement. We have used all the information given in the passage. So in this scenario, we, we can have two cases like Vs or we can have like Vs. So let us make two cases out of it. So T, uh, this will be P in this case. In this case, it will be P, S and V. And then the remaining things remain as it is. Okay, so we get three possibilities, right? This is case one, this is case two, this is case three. Three possible arrangements. Okay, who is sitting opposite to A? Now in this case, we see P, V and so we cannot determine. Okay, so in all cases, we are getting different people. Who among the following is definitely not sitting extreme, extreme N, right? So who is not sitting at extreme seat out of these P? So if you see in either case, P is at a central position. P is not at an end, right? G is uh, end in this case. Q is at an end in these two cases. B is also at an end, but P is not possible at an end, okay? Which of the following statements would help determine one unique arrangement? We are getting different, different arrangements. Which of these statements, if you knew, would give you one unique arrangement? Now let us see, B is to the immediate left of E. Now B is to the immediate left of E in two cases, right? This in all cases. B is to the immediate left of E in two cases, sorry. This is right of E in two cases, but it will not give us a unique arrangement. V is not opposite G. Okay? V is opposite in G in this. V is opposite G in this. Now this statement will give us a unique case. So we will get this as the unique seating arrangement. So this is the answer to the question. Okay. There is one person between U and P. So let us verify that if others are wrong. So U and P one person. Uh, uh, U and P one person, right? So again, it is giving us two possibilities, one and three. There are two persons between C and E, one, two, one, two, one, two. So it is not giving any further information. But V is not opposite to G. That gives a unique solution because this will eliminate this case as well as this case. We will be left with one unique case. So that is the answer to the question. 